Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Tito Bonito Show. Tonight, we have one guest only because she is the number one burlesque performer in the world. Please make some noise for the honey badger of burlesque, G. Louise. And now, give it up for your host, the Cuban Missile Crisis of Burlesque, Tito Bonito! That's me, yeah. Yes, everybody, woo! We in the house tonight, yes, we better have one viewer up in this fucking show right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Tito Bonito Show. I am your host, the Cuban Missile Crisis of your life, Tito Bonito, and you are watching a badass fucking program right now. We are going to have a one-hour special show featuring one of the most incredible burlesque performers in the history of time, Miss G's Louise, y'all. And if you don't know anything about G's Louise, she is uh, definitely the very... Look... All I have to do is say her name and people are applauding. Uh, if you don't know Jeez Louise, she is the number one burlesque performer in the world and one of my best friends since before burlesque. She also is the inspiration behind me beginning my journey into burlesque. So I am very excited to have my mama up in the house tonight. And if you don't know, we together, she and I were a duo to be reckoned with when we lived in Chicago known as the Eighth Degree. Mm, look at this. Look at this. The people love it. The people love the eighth degree. They need that shit. Uh, but today we're going to be playing some games with our queen. We're going to be uh, doing some surprise games in the show, but we're going to bring some of our favorite games back. Uh, I do want to start off the show by letting everybody know that this is a Black Lives Matter show. So if you don't believe that, you can just swipe over to another show right now. Um, as you know, times are really fucking tough right now for everyone in multiple ways, but especially for, uh, communities that have always been, uh, oppressed. So educate yourself, have open dialogue conversations with those that you love without, uh, fear of getting angry with each other, because this is one of the most important times to be not only political, but to at least speak about it so that we don't just waft around them in this world, letting just the mafia uh dictate what we do so it's all love it's all respect but we are definitely thinking of our brothers and sisters our black brothers and sisters and our trans brothers and sisters so make sure you know you educate yourself have some conversations and let's motherfucking do this shit all right uh this week what have I been up to? I've been editing a lot. So if you want to see the Cuban Missile series season three, it has been taking me years to finally do this. And I have some new episodes on my OnlyFans. No, you're not going to see dick on the OnlyFans, but you are going to see some exclusive content. Every Thursday, I'm releasing a new video. I've released two episodes so far. The first one was about the Pansy Craze Peep Show. That is an LGBTQI variety showcase I put on at Redline, which might be coming back soon. And the second episode that I just put up yesterday is all about the Full Hunty Boy Less show that I was doing monthly at Fault Line, which is an iconic bar. And the next episode is going to be all about, should I say it? I should say it. Tribe Tuesdays that was happening at the Falls Lounge, which was a charity show that we put on. Um, and it was amazing. Now, you know how this guy goes, everyone. If you like what you see, there are some hearts right there. You're going to pump that like you're flicking a frijole. You're going to put all those hearts every time you like something. If you want to ask GZ or I any sort of questions, there is a question mark box right there. And you can plug in your questions and we will read them. But I don't know if we'll get to them. Uh, we probably will. And But show some love. We can't hear you. We can't. The only thing I can do is just put on a fucking sound effect of people doing that. You know, so uh, 
please show some love to us. Also, our Venmos are pinned down, Tito Bonito and Jeez Louise. So make sure if you like what you saw today, throw us a dollar or two. It's uh, some rough times, y'all. And I promise you we're going to be entertaining as fuck. Now, let me see if my very special guest is in the room. No, not yet, not yet. Let me see. I'm going to show you guys some stuff. Oh, yes. Before we get started, I always love playing this game because this is just important as fuck to me. Uh, I like to find out which Cuban food am I. So if you will so much oblige me right now, we're going to try that really quick. All right. Here we go. And we always want croquetas. We always want croquetas. Okay. Damn. That's some baca frita ass mess. We don't want that shit. Ugh. And the other game I like playing is the one where you're going to find out which But I digress. Uh, also, what's coming up tonight, you can catch me and Jezebel Thunder, as as well as a myriad of amazing performers in House, House of Hush Burlesque. And what's going to happen is House of Hush is having a uh, live Zoom show. We're going to be taking off our clothes. So you want to uh, go check out House of Hush Burlesque on Instagram. Wow, my vocal patterns are just frying today. Uh, so check out House of Hush. That's going to be this Friday tonight, right after this show, around 8 o'clock Pacific time. And then tomorrow, I'll also be a part of the Digital Boy Less Festival that's running uh, with a ton of male burlesque performers. We also announced another Boy Less show that's a fundraiser for the Burlesque Call of Fame, and that will be next Friday. And then on Sunday, this coming Sunday, I'll also be... Um, performing in Eat It, the burlesque, br the brunch that happens at Redline every Sunday, but now it's digital on Twitch, hosted by Rubella Spreads. So there's a lot of shows coming up, y'all, and it's going to be uh, a really good time. But I digress. I do have an incredible special guest. And there's only one today because she is known as the number one burlesque performer of all time, in my opinion, but the 2019 number one burlesque industry figure of the world is G's motherfucking Louise. And we're going to bring that legend on the stage right now. So give some applause for the honey badger of burlesque, G's Louise. <laughs> Hi. First of all, you Hi. look magnificent, my love. Ah, thank you. Look, I know that I pinned down Jeezy's uh, Venmo, but this is a little moment so that she can also just uh, promote her cash app. You want to slide? You know, I've got cash app. I've got PayPal. Venmo, I've got PayPal. I've got Zelle. I've got hoes in different area codes. I've got hoes. 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 I don't... I'm kind of obsessed with the fact that we look like we're actually going on a date to the prom. We look like we are going to host the Oscars, bitch. You know I would do better than James Franco, though, and you would do better okay. than Anne Hathaway or whatever her name was. Who? Exactly. <laughs> uh, who would you say? I was like, <laughs> exactly. Uh, James Franco and Anne Hathaway. Remember when they hosted? Oh, no. Neither do I. Uh, how are you doing today, my love? You look gorgeous. Is that White Claw? No, it's so, a um, tropical Red Bull. I'm tropical for you because you're Cuban. That makes sense, my love. Listen, booyaka, booyaka. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but. Uh, let me I'm take doing this. good, you know? I'm out here. I'm doing my best. Your best is literally incredible. You know? Yeah. I'm trying to not get murdered in the streets. Listen, that's real as fuck. So... That's real as fuck. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay though. I'm doing okay. Yeah, I got it together. I put this look together in literally like five minutes, bitch. Like, are you kidding me? Listen, not that eight ma eight, eight minute makeovers with G's Louise. I already will watch the fuck out of that. <laughs> Your hair yeah, is. I got, a, I got a whole new room. Like, look at this backdrop. Yeah, bitch. show us, show us the magic of the honey badger, the home of the honey badger, not. <gasps> What? Gorgeous. Why is it? 
Listen, if y'all don't know Jeez Louise, y'all are lying to yourselves. But Jeez Louise is absolutely the reason why I'm doing burlesque. She is my yes. young ma burlesque mama, even though she's young, younger as fuck than me. Uh, I have no burlesque children, so you're like, you're not even really my burlesque child, but you're the only one I got. I'm so. definitely, I definitely feel like I'm your burlesque, burlesque child because anytime you know, I, have, I don't have, don't nobody ever claim me as their burlesque mom either. I've been claiming you, you since 2010. You and um, Mr. Valdez. Oh yeah, but see, but you know, <sighs> oh, I love him. That's like that's like comparing Joey Graziano and Tito Bonito. You know. Okay, One you know what? <laughs> Y'all better leave Hoena alone. Oh, Joey, we love Joey. Uh, but Jeez Louise, you've been performing burlesque for the better part of what, 11 years now? It was 11 years this March. This mm -hmm. March. This past so, March was 11 years, bitch. That's and how do you feel? Me. How do you feel about knowing how far you've come in this game? Since, I mean, I've known you for since way before this, but even though you were always set for the trajectory of fame, stardom, and, and gorgeousness and recognition, yes. like you and Shea Coulee are the two friends I remember having that I was like, oh, they gonna make it. Like, they gonna, they gonna make it. Well, we're still waiting on me, so. I didn't say that I'm not waiting on you, but if in the burlesque scene, you done made it. I guess. There's just so much we can hit there. So now you have to do what you have been doing, which is creating new things to expand into the world. I still ain't even checked the regular ass burlesque goals off my burlesque list from what 10 are some years your, What are I some of your goals? Been to, I've been to Europe one time. I ain't barely, I ain't been to Australia. I ain't been nowhere. I mean, I it, been, you know, I've been one trip. We did one trip. And you know what? We did our own show most of the time. So. You and Lola? Yeah. And Lola and, and you Lola have an amazing. Luke, Ray and Willie LaCue. I love me some Willie LaCue. We made it happen for ourselves. <laughs> Listen, but that's how you got to do it. Listen, but I want to go to Australia. I want to go to New Zealand, Australia. I want to go to South Africa. I want to go to fucking France. I want to go anywhere. Listen, I mean, I want to you... go to Brazil. Have you not technically gone there virtually in the last two months? I hate saying that. I take that back. I literally take that back. I take that. I take that completely. <laughs> uh, I take that back. I'm going to Canada tonight, honey, and I don't need no papers. We were Let supposed me to be in Canada together last weekend. We were absolutely... Canada actually, is the only place... Canada pop in Canada loves some G's. I was going to say, yeah, technically we were supposed to be there now. No, no last G's weekend. Like, G's love coffee crisp. Ooh. I love coffee crisp from Canada. Um... This is my favorite. This is my favorite question for you, my love, because you can do so many things. You can sing, dance, act. You can literally be. You could probably just do drag and then be me and do my career better than me. Um, I'm doing oh, drag right now. Is this not drag? It is drag, but I meant being a drag king, and then you would literally be me. If you did Tito drag, I bet you yeah. people would be like, "Why is I he better?" I did drag king one time. I couldn't do it. I look like my dad. That's not hot. It's not hot to me. <laughs> it doesn't. You don't think the makeup can change what who you look like yes i mean i did terrible makeup i had oh, a little yeah. chin strap but i just look too much like my dad we had the same face i don't like it uh, yeah i'm glad that i don't look like anybody in my family when i drew i guess i kind of look like emily and them but <laughs> i don't really look like them you know like they i wish i looked like them yeah i look like my brother in drag i and have that's to get to do my makeup and, and that's i still the haven't thought of a drag king name Ooh. what would my drag king name be some people in the comments, y'all can type in some suggestions for Jeezy's drag king name. Holy smokes. Wait, what did I say on Twitter the other day? Feel, feel yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to play bring, a game real bring quick? Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. You want me to bring it back? Jeez Louise, take over the Tito Bonito show happening right now, y'all. Look, <laughs> to you. Wow. This is, I literally sleep with that so much. I'm definitely gonna have to start washing it. Wow. Um, okay. What questions did you have? What did you have? You want to well, say something? The, qu the question I wanted to ask you right now: of everything that you can do, what's your favorite talent? Oh, what's my favorite talent? 
Oh, uh, damn. That's a hard one. It's a long list. We love a long and hard list. Oh, um, favorite talent might have to be um, tapping, tap dancing, because not a lot of people can do that. I think, you know, when I, when we did the Burlesque yeah. Hall of Fame interview, where I, I kind of asked you a similar question, and I wanted to see if you would have a different answer. And I think back then, the answer you had was hosting. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are an amazing, you are the tap dancing yeah. tease, though. I I'm know, but I, you know, I don't do it as much anymore since the knee injury. But not a lot of people can tap dance well. So I did, you know, I saw this preview and for a strip. tap and strip at the same That's time. That's true, but there's very few people. And tap. That's what I used to do in high school. They used to call me Rappy McTappy. Rappy McTappy? Only like two people call me that. Nobody called me. Only like two <laughs> and was one of the people your mom? No. Okay, good. Then then it counts. Yeah. So you know, you know my nickname in high school. I'm what? sure I told you this. It rhymes with my real name or my stage name. They used to call me. They used to call me because I was a little gordito, uh, <laughs> pastelito. <laughs> <laughs> Act like that isn't my secret <sighs> middle name. Tito pastelito it. bonito. Um, I want to get I want to get to know you a little bit more than I already do. But before I do, do you want to play a game? Okay. Okay. Which do you want to play first? Name that stripper or fuck Mary Kill? Name that stripper. Bam, 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 bam. bam, bam. <laughs> Name that stripper, y'all. This is the game that Jeeves Louise, the person right below me, created and I jacked yeah. for this show. Yeah. It's amazing. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to put a picture of a stripper mosaic out and Jeezy is going to have to figure out who the fuck they are. And we're going to test okay. her burlesque history. All right, y'all? And knowledge. Okay. So... We have a few, and we're going to see how you feel about it, but we're going to start off with someone who I love very much. Um, wait, I was going to do this. Wait, 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 here we go, here we go. Okay, 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 here we go, here we go. Bam. Who is this stripper? <laughs> Redbone! Oh, shit, from Minneapolis <laughs> and San Francisco, Red motherfucking Bone. I know Red Bone on the black hand side. Like, I know Red Bone. I can know oh, Red Bone from the front, back, and side. From not from the front, <laughs> not from the front, back, and side. And side. All right, all right, all right. Are you ready to uh, name that second stripper? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I was gonna do an all black edition, but you know I wanted to switch it up today. But we're gonna keep it okay. black as fuck right now. So name that <laughs> stripper. Pochop, obviously. Hey, <laughs> yo. Pochop was one of the first performers I saw, as well as Jeez Louise. She did an act of Tyrone by Erica Badu, and yes. ugh, I still have feelings Classic. about the show. Signature. All right, all right. We're going to try. Bitch, I look fucking beautiful. Hold on. No. Like, what the fuck? Absolutely. Look you look so beautiful. Somebody needs to send you a tip on Venmo. Like, what the fuck? Popping, like, wow. mm, it takes. You ready to? Wow. This is Name That Stripper, but also Jeezy's BFFs. Uh, listen, Eliana. Let's try another one. Let's switch it up. You want to switch it up? Yes. Name that stripper. That's me. Who is this? Crocodile Lightning. Bam! Bam! She don't give no fucks today. Let me tell yeah. you. Chicago's Crocodile, Crocodile Lightning. Crocodile Lightning. Knew that. Knew that. Mm, that is so... And I love this photo, by the way, too. It's so fucking epic. Love her. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Let's keep them coming, because I'm... I'm ready to be challenged. Let's try, let's try it out. You're three for three right now. Here is your next name that stripper. Let me know who this icon is. Joe Boobs. Bam! Bam! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm a dip. I'm a dip. Bam! That is I so... Is there anyone you don't know? I am a Joe Boobs stan. 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 Yes. Yes, by Joe Boobs. I need to get her to sign it. You know she's also celebrating the anniversary of uh, the Burlesque Handbook, y'all. I know. This Saturday, tomorrow. So y'all better uh, check it out. I think it's the 15th anniversary of it as I well. I never had it, but I used to read everybody else's. Oh, you want to see who gave, who gave me mine? 
Who? To the future Mr. Exotic World, Lily Von Stuck. Aww. Isn't that cute? She was wrong. Well, um, I didn't really, I didn't really need a handbook, so. That's true. <laughs> You're, I feel like you're my handbook, though. Like, I literally call you about every important question. Uh, you want an easy one or a hard one? Oh, hard. OK, let's try this one. Who is this stripper? Frankie Fictitious. Damn, yes, Miss Exotic World, current reigning queen, Miss Ex Jasmine. I, I, can't even, I can't even give you a cheat sheet. All right, all right, let's try it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. You're hot. You're hot. Who is this stripper? Ooh. Ooh. I love this stripper. This one might get me. No way. Really? I love how close you are right now. Oh, okay. Because listen. I know. Okay. She's got good titties. Mm -hmm. Okay. A good hairdo. Mm -hmm. Oh, no tattoos. Ileana says that they know, and at the same time, you can get help if you want to from the audience. Wait, can I have a hint? You can have help from the audience, or I can give you a hint. Wait, I'm gonna get, can I take one guess first? Yes, you absolutely can take a guess. Roxy Delight. No. Damn. Dita Von Teese. Damn, no. <laughs> Indigo Blue. Bam, Indigo Blue! Bam! Yes! Okay, see, you know. I thought it was indigo blue, but honestly, her titties didn't look big enough to me in this photo. No, and it's it's it, it can look like someone else, but her titties look small in this photo. But I was gonna say indigo blue. That was gonna be my first guess. No, that was really good. You got it. I didn't give it to you, so you still got that one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Ileana, is that who you guessed? Yeah, Ileana, is that who you guessed? Because you said I know with all capital letters. That's in you're in uh, putting a little bit of emphasis, emphasis on that syllable. Okay, 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 okay. Easy or hard one? Because I only have easy ones now. <laughs> okay, give me up. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Name that stripper. And if you can, with this next performer, uh, name that stripper. And then tell me a really fun fact about them that maybe people don't know. Do you want to try okay. it out? Who is this stripper? Foxy Tan. Boom! Foxy Tan. Ooh, what's a fun fact about Foxy? Foxy tells all of her facts. That's true. Foxy Tan. Oh, is Foxy's from white ass Vermilion, South Dakota. Vermilion? Yeah. Is that after Trillion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, so stupid. I am so dumb. She's Listen. From Vermilion, uh, South Dakota. <laughs> oh, hey, John Sakura. That's my boo. Hey, Cinnamon Vixen. Yes. Yeah, shout out to the love of the people watching. Do you okay? We have one last one, okay? Okay, okay. This one's really stupid. It's gonna be different from the other ones that you saw because this is actually a duo, all right? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So if you don't know who this uh duo is, we will revoke your burlesque card. I, I don't think that's a thing. I already know who's gonna be. I know who is that. I know exactly. I knew who's gonna be. Us. I knew it was gonna be the eighth degree because I can read your fucking mind, Tito. <laughs> We're the same person. Look I at me. Knew it's gonna be Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful. No, that that's literally perfection. And the gift of that is so amazing because we're holding that pose and then we go. <sighs> <laughs> yes, y'all. That was another edition of Name That Stripper <laughs> featuring Jeez Louise, the creator of the motherfucking game. How amazing is that? That was fun. That was, that was fun. amazing. You killed that. Zero zero. Or zero zero, you got all of them right. Yeah, I mean the one, the indigo blue one. I shouldn't have second guessed myself. I'm a cancer. I should always trust my intuition. Message. Bam. You know what I'm gonna do next week though? I'm gonna start using baby pictures instead of mosaic pictures and really. Okay, you know <laughs> Listen, Jeez Louise is absolutely the best. Much love from Bye. Chicago, Chi Town in the motherfucking building, all the damn time, y'all. Hey, Chi Town. Uh, my love, we are also going to play a game today, y'all, okay. that hopefully you will enjoy called Roulesque. I don't know, it's <laughs> loosely called that. And Jeezy is going to choose a song for me to strip to, and I, in turn, will choose a song yeah. for her to strip to. But we're going to do that in a second. And before we do that, a game. Wait, what? You froze up. Oh. I like to call Fuck Mary and oh, Oh, okay, 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 okay. Do you got it? Can you see me? 
Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. You know what? Before we play this game, everybody, if you got a drink, if you got something to toke up on, um, I'm going to smoke out of this vape pen because that's pink because I don't have no home training. Let's toke it up. What's wrong with it being pink? Is that gay? No, I love that it's pink. Look at that. I've never had a pink before. It's always like generic white. Apartment beige, I like to call okay, it. Wait, hold on. Take your time, baby. Take your time. Hold on. Wait. Look, we have funky instrumental music to play while you're figuring it out. Okay, I'll be right back. Take your time. Y'all, this fucking <laughs> fuck Mary Kill game today is going to be out of control because it's going to be not only some famous people we're going to see, but we might even uh, call out some people we actually know. I'm going to leave the door cracked in case Mr. Kathy want to come in here. Oh, yeah. Bring Mr. Kathy up in here. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here, y'all. This is Fuck, Mary and Kill, and we're going to play some people, all right? So we're going to start off with one of our favorite TV shows of all time. This is Tommy, Martin, and Cole. I knew I was going to cut my motherfucking... <laughs> I'm Cole. <laughs> look how I actually okay. almost look like Cole. Look at this vest. Stop. <laughs> Tommy, oh, Marion, and Cole. Who would you fuck, marry, and kill, and why? Ooh, okay. I'm definitely fucking Tommy. Rest in peace. He's got no job. Rest in peace, he's Tommy. Got no job. He's available. Whenever. Uh, he probably come over at seven a.m. Give you that seven a.m. D. Because you know he would. What else he got to do? I would. Mary Martin, kill Cole. Cole's useless. I absolutely love him, but you know, was what? You know, like what you gonna do with Cole? Like Cole's gonna what? do some. I don't Cole. Like he doesn't even look like he has, like he's. He doesn't look like he's gonna lay down the pipe for him to be that dumb. I you actually know? think he might. That's why he had Big Shirley, but I don't think Big Shirley was laying down the pipe on Cole. <laughs> I believe that. That call was a bottom for Big Shirley. Are you kidding me? I absolutely. Now that I'm a little bit older in life, I absolutely agree with that. I'm sure that. Yeah. That's All right. Was you, for Big Shirley. For mm -hmm. our next fuck, Mary and kill. Do you want a celebrity or somebody or people we know? Oh, I want to do somebody I know in real life. Okay, this is really good. I love this one. Would you fuck, Mary and kill, Matthew Donkey Boy <laughs> or Fathoms Deep? <laughs> this is Fathoms Deep right here. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> oh man this is hard this was my first one i didn't even have to think about this one i was like oh yeah them Dang. three well technically <laughs> <laughs> wow okay okay wow your boy was like wow okay i would fuck Okay, I would marry Donkey Boy. Come on. Come I on. I would marry I would love, Colin. I love that. That's the one in the middle. I would marry Colin. Oh, look how precious he is. I would. Oh. Look at Lola's like, wow. This is Fathoms Deep, y'all, here. I think I have to choose um, fuck Fathoms Deep, and I have to kill Matt because I can't kill another innocent black man. <laughs> I said it. I said you know? it. That but was... I love Matt. Oh man, that sucks. I hate it because I, I actually already had sex with him. So <laughs> <laughs> I love it because I would actually not be able to kill Fathoms or Matthew, and I don't want to kill Donkey Boy. But I feel like if I had to pick, it would no. absolutely. I don't think I could pick. They're all like the sweetest people in the world. <laughs> okay, you said the other day that you were hu a huge fan of two white ass TV shows. <laughs> Yes, and I'm not ashamed, okay? No, and I, girl. I like friends. So who would I you like fuck, marry, and kill out of the three of them? Oh. I should have included the girls, you know? It's not fair that I only put the guys. Yeah, why'd you only put the guys? This has been a very um, heterosexual fuck, marry, You know what? Kill. We'll go back to this. For now, which one would you fuck, marry, and kill Ooh. out of the three? Okay. You can't kill left eye. That's just in the rule book. Well, I was going to say I would fuck left eye, but I don't think I could because... She would go crazy off this dick. 
you know who I hate to... She would like, if I laid it down too good, she would set my shit on fire. So I would have to marry left. She did that one keep, twice. Keep I would have to marry left eye to keep her in check. Okay. I would <laughs> I'm not gonna you think they're not my I babies. Would I... Fuck chili. No. Fuck T Ross kill chili. Yeah, no, my girl. That's there you go. Terrible. This game is awful. Listen, that's exactly the same way I would do it. I would absolutely, especially 2002 Left Eye, where she was all spiritual, trying to figure out shit in your life, I would marry the fuck out of that person. But yeah, Tiba, I don't know. It's fine. kind of a... I hate killing Chili, but it's kind of like... Well, but I don't think... I'm not sexually attracted to Tiba, but I could I could fuck Chili for sure. I love... <laughs> I will pay so much money to do that. Okay, let's go back to these white-ass men. <laughs> Who would you pick out of this Gap ad? Oh, man. I think I would marry Joey, fuck Chandler, kill Ross. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Ross gotta go. Ross I completely gotta go. Agree. Chandler would be fun for like a banging out. Like you're not dating, you're not serious, you're just hanging out and banging. And I it's not like that would be good banging, you're just bored and you're in a situation ship. Wouldn't know? that be more Joey though? Because Joey's gonna try to fuck everybody. No, I would marry Joey because I think he's very sweet. I mean, he is. He is very sweet. He's very much like and a smart... Chandler, I don't think Chandler would have it together. At least Joey got a job. Mr. True. Kathy! <laughs> True. Uh, we're going to try with her two more. Okay. Isn't this the worst? Right. Ross is absolutely the worst. Right. Literally, Lola, that's why I can't watch the show, is because of Ross. Ross and I was like, terrible. I bet you Ross looks like one of those celebrities that literally follows zero people on Instagram, and I hate that. I looked at his Instagram, absolutely... <laughs> what he was doing. Speaking of whack ass white people, uh, Kramer, oh. Jerry, or George? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You know, my mom used to call me Kramer when I was a kid because I was very clumsy. Oh, but he's racist though, in real life. But we're talking about the characters, not the people. We're talking about the characters, not the actors. You're right. Okay. You know what? I would kill Jerry. He's a jerk. He kind of sucks. I would marry George because I feel like he would take care of me. <laughs> and bitch about it the whole way, the whole time. Okay, but also, I feel like, no, I would marry George because I feel like I could walk all over him. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. <laughs> and so Kramer gets and the ring. Fuck, and I would fuck Kramer because I feel like that would be crazy. And oh weird. It would he be probably smell a little funky, but he just looks like a dude that we would fuck from Columbia College, to be honest. You know, I'm not gonna lie, he does give me some Ryan Borg kind <laughs> he of vibe. Looks like a little dusty ass theater dude from Columbia Edu. So. That does look like he graduated from Jackalope Theater for sure. He, <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he lived at the mansion for sure. In the mansion, not Andrew Swanson. Listen. Um, <laughs> We have one more, and this is one that I love. Uh, I put, I put, in, <laughs> I put in my story before. Do you know who I'm gonna use for the finale? No. Okay, they're what who I like to call the TLC of boy lust. Give it up for the stage door Johnnies. Who would you fuck, marry, and kill of the? Look at tell me that's not me. Tell me this Damn. isn't me. Damn. Okay. 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 Who would you fuck, marry, and kill? <laughs> I can tell you who I want first if you want some time. I would obviously marry Bazooka. Obviously. Come on. Come my... on. Bazooka is husband material. That was an easy no-brainer. Easy no-brainer. Ah. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I agree I'm with your have to kill Jenna Dore and fuck Ray Gun. I would switch those and then absolutely do. Ooh, ooh, actually, I don't know. Have you seen Ray got these little gay boys crazy in the streets? Are you kidding me? I guarantee Ray is laying it down. Oh, I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying that's exactly. I don't know. I probably. But also, I hate... Jet would probably be really romantic and sweet. I would cheat this one. I would cheat this one. See, okay, could I fuck Ray Gun and then get rid of him, or does I have to keep? My that's why I said I would cheat. I would fuck Mary and kill Bazooka. <laughs> 
And I wouldn't kill him very soon into the relationship. It'd be like when we're in our 60s. But look, like, tell me. Wow. Yeah. No, I don't know. That's no, that's not an idea. Okay. Mary Bazooka, kill Jet, fuck Ray. I love that. There you go. Fuck Mary and kill everybody. That was a good ass <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> Not Leslie Ooh, from Electric so Red. Not Leslie from Electric Red joining people. the chat. I can't believe you brought up real people. Of course <laughs> I brought up real people. Fucked. Of course I brought up real people. Fuck, marry, and kill. I had to, and I <laughs> literally, when I thought of Matthew, Donkey Boy, and uh, Fathoms, I was like, that yeah, was I got to do it. I think that one was the hardest one. That's a hard trick. This is from Yo So sweet no they're sweet and then really like amazing too yeah i know but that's why you gotta fuck with it because you don't actually want to kill these people come on no, um my love so right now you know we're getting close to the end but before we go we do we are playing a crazy improv game of roulette and basically what's gonna happen is your girl has chosen a song for me to strip to and yeah. i in turn have chosen a song and not stop looking at myself i've really did a really good job on this five minute fucking makeup, bitch. Like, who are you? Who is she? <laughs> That's how I sounded when I was. First of all, that pose right there, though. Let me turn off these comments so I can actually look at the beautifulness. First of all, first of all, if I never feel you in my hole again. <laughs> 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 All right, my love. Do you would you All like right, to you perform? You want to know what song I pick for you? Absolutely. Would you like to perform first, or would you like me to perform first? You go first. Okay, I can do that. What song uh, do you want me to perform? Your song is a classic. Okay, and fun fact: this is the song I like to dance to at the strip club. Oh, for, my name okay. is Jordan. Jordan. Okay. 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 The song is Faded by Soul Decision. <laughs> Faded by Soul Decision. Okay, I can do that. I feel all right. I feel all right. I feel like, uh, is that not the like stepbrother of Jamiroquai? Um, no, they're from um, Vancouver. I'm kidding. I'm going to put on my jacket. I'm going to dance for you. Um, let me turn off this fucking image so you can actually see me strip yes. Uh, and then, you know, tell the people what you're doing this weekend while I put on this jacket. This weekend? Um, what am I doing? This? What's today? Today's Friday. Oh, I'm gonna go get a snowball from Chance and Hell Snowballs. Kitten and Lou making snowballs now. Oh, what? Like snowball? Oh, and they're they doing have a that tonight. That's snowball right. machine, and they're selling and making snowballs off the front porch, and that, that's just delicious. This week they got banana pudding flavor. So that's um, the main thing I'm doing this weekend. I don't know what else I'm doing this week. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know the days. <laughs> All right. I'm just There's, been this There's been a lot going on. There is a lot going on. And you know I'm what? sad and depressed. And I was on my period and I quit smoking. So this week was a wash. This, uh, you know what? I feel like we are allowed to have some wash weeks right yeah, now. Yeah, but I'm back in action now. Okay, listen, I'm gonna <laughs> perform the fuck for you right now. Okay. You ready? Yeah, am I supposed to stay on camera and watch you? Yeah, why not? It's perver more perverted that way. I am a little bit bummed that I have not heard this song since. Uh, I'm, gonna try I'm gonna sing along, it's so good. Listen, I haven't heard this song since TLC had a fucking three members. All right, here we go. Oh, this song is, oh. Such a good song.
This remix! <laughs> Yes! Yes! That was fun. You know, I needed to improvise a little that bit. Have some beautiful. fun. Wow. That was so beautiful. Could you hear the song decent? Yes, I can hear it. Yeah. Wait, I got to feed Mr. Kathy real quick. Go feed Mr. Kathy while they give everybody the, the, sh the shaking. Who is this asshole? Listen, Mr. Kathy is not amused. There's nothing worse than having <laughs> the cat. The cat probably fucked. Face. He looked like this. You know, if I hadn't performed for my family like that for years, I would be offended. But I look at everybody's like, Mr. Kathy is like this. Is... Did the cat fart? No, that was me. <laughs> but the other day, Mr. Cat picked him up and then he. And it scared me, which then scared him. It was hilarious. Aww, it was poor really baby. Loud. It was loud. All right, all right, all right. Kathy, Kathy. <laughs> poor baby. Whew. All right, Sean. I'm going to put your shit uh, while you're performing. But I picked a song for you. I'm also going to turn off the comments. So, but can't post because you know SPCA. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. Uh, I, my song for you is something that uh, I love. I know you'll love. I obviously want Jeez Louise to do a Lisa Left Eye Lopez act, but oh. but if I can't get that, this is the best thing I can get. All right, you ready? I'm gonna turn off these comments so people can watch yeah, you. I'm gonna put your name up in there so everybody can see you. And then here you go. My song for What's you song? is Britney Spears's Lucky. Ah, <gasps> oh, okay, okay, okay. I feel like it's a perfect song for you. If you love this shit, uh, got any questions for Jeezy? Because after this, we're pretty much gonna be wrapping up. Uh, put some questions in the question mark box. Otherwise, enjoy the fuck out of the greatest burlesque performer of all time, Jeezy okay. Louise.
Holy shit! <laughs> the greatest burlesque performer of all time. So why are we? Spears and Lola Vanella. What kind of group act? Why are we like this? I'm so grateful every day for it. <laughs> ah, we're out of control, babe. She said, let me give you four different angles. I thought I was watching the Spice Girls wannabe music video. Uh, wow. I said... I said... Uh, uh, geez Louise, why are you so perfect and why do you love me so much? I am perfect because I love you. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. That one got me. Yeah. Right, dang, right, right here. My love, you know, you're literally my favorite person in the world. You have changed my life for the better. If anyone even tolerates my ass, they have you to thank. Look at these luscious like, dancing like, orbs of loveliness. Like, look at them. Like, what the them fuck? titties like, whoa. First of all, it looks like these are my titties. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, do it. Hey, who wants to screenshot this and then send it to me? Go. <laughs> Ileana is on it. Wait, I can't see your titties. We can't see them. No, I'm trying to do it so that they're my titties. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but there you go. That's one screenshot. And then. <laughs> oh my God. So good. <laughs> I love it. Like, I can't just screenshot my own video at the end of it. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Y'all, uh, if you have any Did questions. Do you have anything you... else you want to say to me? Uh, <laughs> 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 Not a damn thing. Thank you so much for letting me single white female your career. Thank I you. I love you. I'm proud of you. Listen, everything I know is because of you. That's true. But I'm, I'm very just proud of you. You're very, you're doing a great job. I'm just trying to put it on the record so that when I blow up, you blow up too. Because that's either you're going to blow up first or I'm going to blow up, but we're going to blow up. Yeah. Like you're contractually obligated. Also, if you like this burlesque performer who is literally the best and you have taste, uh, check her out every Thursday night on Instagram, Facebook, all of the interwebs for Loli's Bow Live. It's an amazing show. They are always the shit, starring Jeez Louise and Lola Van Ella, killing the game like Yolanda Saldivar. Um, look at them cakes. She's so pretty. You're kind of giving me a little bit of an Aaliyah vibe right now. Hey, you're giving back, some Akasha. Book, book. I'm sending you a four page letter. Let me not talk about the fact that I used to write my friends four page letters in high school. And when they write you a letter, get it on time. Get it on time. Uh, Jesus Louise, I love you so much. Thank you so much for coming you. on. You I can love you. I can fucking make up for you, bitch. No, I know. And you are always doing the most for me. And I'll I never do this for nobody. I know. It's just me. I love you way too much. You let me do the least and, buy, and you do the most. Yeah, it's true. Doing okay. the most since 2009, y'all. Jeez, motherfucking. Oh, hit the Venmo. Hit the OnlyFans. Um, yes. If you go to my links, you can find my Amazon wish list for my birthday coming up. Yes. June is your day. Is your month. Yeah. Ooh. That's so exciting. Maybe yes. I'll try to see. It's coming. It's so exciting. I can't believe you're finally fucking 21. Um, any other things you want to say to the people before you go? Fuck 12. You know, fuck Lana Del Rey. Mm. Fuck Takashi 6 9 TikTok, um, too. TikTok. TikTok is problematic. Fuck TikTok. Fuck the police. Um, free. Wait, damn, we need to free anybody right now? <laughs> No, we ain't got. I'm sure we always have to free people. People who have literally free had jails. Um, you know, marijuana charges free, that people are still in. Free everybody locked up off weed. Free every Minneapolis protester. Um, free Palestine. I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't know. I, this is probably when you're like, I'm done. Um, yeah, that's all I guess. Free Britney, by the way. Free every day. Free Britney. If we're going to uh, free fuck, one white person. Fuck Dr. Luke. Oof, yeah, fuck Dr. Luke. Um, that's it. I love you. You're the best. You're literally the best. And You're Tip the best. Jeezy. That should be on a fucking shirt. Tip Jeez yeah. Louise. I love you so much. Show some love to the greatest burlesque performer of all time, y'all. Jeez motherfucking Louise. <laughs> and there she goes, y'all. Damn. Hey, 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 hey. 
so fucking good, y'all. Look at that. The whole fucking time. Isn't that amazing? Oh, all right, y'all. Yep, that is the end. I can't even believe that that went by so fast. If y'all got any questions or anything like that, throw some love up in there. Show some love on our Venmos. We entertained the fuck out of y'all today. Don't act like we did it. Um, and then make sure tonight you can check out House of Hush Burlesque that's happening online. Check out them out on Instagram, House of Hush Burlesque. I just posted about it. Uh, you can check that. Also, this weekend, we have uh, the Digital Boy Less Festival I'm a part of. And then on top of that Sunday, I'm going to be in Eat It, the brunch show that happens on Twitch on the Princess Forever channel. I am very excited to um, keep doing this. Next week, special guest, you'll have to join my OnlyFans to know early, but I'll let you know on Monday. If you want to watch episodes of Cuban Missile Series, you can do that on my OnlyFans. And uh, hit me up. Hit me up, you know, let me know who you want to see on the Tito Bonito show because we're uh, always looking. All right, y'all. I love you. Make good choices. I worry about you. And remember, message. Bye, y'all.